Welcome to this video about thermally driven fluid flows, also known as natural convection. These types of fluid flows are all around us, from windy days to lake effect snowstorms to tectonic plate motion. In this video, we're simulating a phenomenon known as Rayleigh Bernard convection, which occurs when a fluid is heated from the bottom and cooled from the top. Depending on the temperature difference, geometry, and fluid properties, the system will naturally set up metastable or unstable circulation currents. In nature, this phenomenon can lead to severe weather events like downbursts, microbursts, and derechos. It's also responsible for magma movement in the Earth's core and plasma movement in the Sun. In this simulation, made up of about 200 million cells, we see blue convection structures falling from the cold upper surface and orange structures rising from the warm lower surface. The process happens spontaneously in a gravitational field and is driven by the buoyancy differences of hot and cold fluids. But what's really important about the simulation isn't just its visual beauty, it's the speed at which you're able to calculate it. For the first time, using the wafer scale engine from Cerebra Systems, we're able to simulate high resolution flows at near real time rates. In our previous work, NETL and Cerebrus demonstrated as much as a 470 times speed gain with a similar problem compared to a conventional supercomputer. Work is ongoing with the Swiss National Supercomputing Center to characterize this particular simulation on the fastest available distributed hardware architectures. What can we do with this speed? We can dramatically accelerate and improve the design process for some really big projects that are vital to mitigate climate change and enable a secure energy future. Projects like carbon sequestration and blue hydrogen production. Faster optimization, lower cost, and more certainty that the project will work in the real world. And then we have an ultra high fidelity digital twin running just ahead, predicting problems and suggesting improvements. More compute power, more experiments, better science.